Hello everybody, welcome to my channel again. In this video we show you some improvements I added on my simple tree generator inside my OpenGL engine. You can see here that I added a new slider in order to control the recursion depth of the tree. And I also added a very basic implementation of tree leaves. We can add a tree and we can see that now, for each final branch in the recursion tree, I added a small code that is oriented along the same orientation of the last branch generated during the recursion. Here we have a simple code, but we can apply a texture with an alpha channel over it and we will be able to see just the actual shape of the leaf. Of course, this is just an oversimplification. In a realistic scenario, it would be better, for performance reasons, to have a mesh that actually fits better the actual shape of the texture. This way, less fragments will be discarded later in the fragment shader. Let's try to draw a simple leaf. For this purpose, I will use my simple OBGL painting program called Speedy Painter. Someone will recognize it from the icon here. Okay, let's try to draw a very basic leaf. We create a new image and we have to keep in mind that the image should also store an alpha channel. So here we will check this flag in order to specify that our image will have a transparent background. Let's draw a very basic leaf, keeping in mind that the connection point with the tree is located in this exact point. Then we draw the main shape of the leaf, a simple small branch that attaches to the tree. We add some veins and some highlights. When finished, we save the resulting image into a file. And again, we have to remember also now to use an image format that preserves also the alpha channel, like the PNG format. Otherwise, the transparency information will be lost. Now we can finally apply the tree leaf to our mesh and see how it looks. Okay, of course this is a conifer tree, so the result is not very realistic in this case. So let's try with a different type of tree. Now the result is better, but we can see that the leaf's density is not very high. To increase the number of leaves and make it more dense, we can select a higher recursion level, but uh, this way the resulting geometry will be more dense. But we can obtain a similar result without actually modifying the mesh geometry, but simply modifying the texture, throwing more leaves in the same texture. We create a new image, for example like this, adding more branches, more small leaves, save it and apply again to the mesh. You can see now that the result is not sparse anymore. Let's add also a back texture to the trunk and branches and for this purpose I will use this beautiful PBR texture set from testers.com. This is the resulting tree. This is of course just a simple example but I think this tree could be good inside a stylized game that has not great for the realistic ambitions. But if we want to obtain a more realistic result, we can just use actual photorealistic textures. For example, we can go here in this beautiful website called textures.com and here in the free section, we can find some realistic leaves textures. For example, this one. We can see that here we can download also not just the, the albedo texture, but also a full PBR set of textures. So also the normal map, roughness, etc. And we will download of the textures in the set. We will skip the height map since we don't use it in this case. And we don't need the super high resolution textures. Now there is a small problem. We see that all those textures are in the TIFF format and unfortunately the library that I use, STLB image, does not support this format. So I have to convert them into the PNG format. To speed up this process, I created a small script that converts them in the PNG format using the useful tool called Image Magic. Once converted, we can, we can apply them to the mesh and we can see that the new result looks way more realistic. Of course, we can see that the entry point 
uh, the point where the leaves are attached to the tree is not correct because the texture is uh, uh, as it in a different position but we don't notice the, that uh, so much so I will leave it uh, this way now you can see also the more realistic lighting effect obtained by using the normal map and the roughness map we can also disable the fake translucency that I added into my engine and use the translucency from the translucency map we can also enable global illumination in order to see the tree into a more realistic lighting setup and this is the final result it's not super realistic you know the generation of the tree is still uh, very basic uh, the shape is not uh, super realistic but I like it uh, I think it's a good start I hope uh, you liked this uh, little demo have a nice day bye bye